Today I'm going to show you how to create a portrait drawing using contour lines in the Sketchbook app. First, we're going to save a photograph from our Canvas art page. So open your Canvas app, click on fourth grade art, then click on assignments. Look for the, look for the assignment titled Portraits Part 1. When you click it, you will see a photograph of Frida Kahlo. Hold your finger down on it until a menu pops up. Then click Add to Photos. You might have to hit OK to allow Canvas to access your photos. Now click on your sketchbook app, the one with the little pencil. If there is a drawing on your app, you need to click on the box with the dots and lines. This pops up and you will click New Sketch. Then click Create, click Discard Current Sketch, and Discard again. Now you have a nice blank screen. Now we're ready to add our Frida photo. On the top menu, scroll over until you see the little mountains with a plus sign and then click on it. This will pull up your camera roll. Click the picture of Frida. Now we want to zoom in, so use your pinchy fingers, put both fingers on the page and spread them out until you are zoomed in on Frida's face and shoulders. Once you have her the correct size, click done to go back to your drawing tools. Use your pinchy fingers to make the whole page a little bit smaller so you can see it all inside the screen. Now we need to add a new layer. To do this, click the little plus sign on the side. Notice how this puts a new white page on the screen. You want to make sure that the white page that you just added has the blue box around it. That's how you know it is selected and you are drawing on the correct one. You do not want to draw directly on top of the photograph. Now let's make sure we have the correct color and tools. Go to your color selector and make sure you have it on black. Drag it down to the bottom corner of the diamond. Then click the color selector off. You want the technical pen as your drawing tool. That's the fourth one from the top and set the size somewhere close to five. Now you're ready to begin tracing. Use your pinchy fingers and zoom really, really close. Zoom in, zoom in on one of the facial features. I like to start with the eye. Then simply trace around it. So I'm tracing the outside shape, the iris, the pupil, and then the line above the eyelid. Now zoom back out. You can check to see how your drawing looks by clicking the little eye so it now has a slash through it on the Frida picture and that makes it disappear. There you can see the eye I traced. I'm going to turn the picture back on and make sure my white page is selected and now I'm ready to zoom in by pinching my fingers out and trace the next eye. Once I've finished tracing that eye, I zoom back out. If you accidentally draw somewhere you don't mean to, remember there is an undo button. Click that back arrow and the last mark you made will disappear. Now I'm ready to zoom back in on the next facial feature and begin tracing it. Remember to periodically click the little eye so you can see your progress each time you finish a step. Next, I'm going to trace the nose. Make sure to trace at least part of the bridge of the nose. You don't have to trace the whole thing if you don't want to. Then when you get to the bottom part, it's helpful to zoom in as close as you can and go ahead and trace it. From there, I can put my two fingers on the screen and slide up to the lips and trace those as well. Next, I'm going to zoom back out and trace the shape of her face. You might notice I made a mistake, so I hit the undo button, fixed my zooming, and then tried again. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it. Remember that undo button is very helpful. It's located right here at the top. Next, go ahead and zoom in and trace her ears. 
Then I'm going to trace the part of her hair under her braids and her flowers. After that, I moved on to tracing the outside of her braids and I just stopped tracing when I hit a flower petal. Next come the flowers. These can be a little tricky. You want to definitely get the outside shape of every flower and if you can, try to trace some of the petals. It's not important to trace every single individual petal. If you get the outside shape and some petals, once you are done, we will be able to tell that they are flowers. So just take your time and do your best. Now I'm zooming back out and I'm going to trace her shoulders. So I'm starting on the neck and I'm just going to trace a straight line down since she's wearing that coat. Then I'll trace her shirt. I'm not going to add the necklace in, but you could trace that if you want. Finally, I'll zoom back out and trace the shoulders. Once you think you have traced everything, notice the small version of the drawing is now on what was a blank box. Like we did earlier in the video, you're now going to hold your finger on the one with the photograph of Frida until you can move it around. You want to drag that photograph all the way up to the little trash can here at the top and then release it. Now you are left with just your drawing. To save your art, click the box at the top, click share, then click save image. Now you can go to canvas and submit your work. If you want to, you can use the paint bucket and color all or part of your Frida drawing, but that is optional.